Hello, sweet people in YouTube land. It's Tuesday again, bringing you a layout that I absolutely adore how it turned out. I thought I was going to go with this background paper, but I end up switching um, and not using the Bohemian Dream by Coco Vanilla. But I am going to use this cut file by Confessions of a Paper Addict called City Center and it is adorable we were in vegas for alan's convention and we were outside by the pool at the hotel and we took some pictures and the hotel that we stayed in was new york new york and it was just there were buildings all around us and it was just so fun we had a blast that day and I thought this would be a perfect cut file for it because we were out in the sun and there were buildings and this is just an adorable cut file. So I won't bother you with watching the entire process. I'm sure you've seen cut files backed before. So I'm going to fast forward and show you what it looks like when it's all finished. And there we go. So I did use some dark elements for the rooftops and for the chimney stack sort of um, part of the city. And then I had some pops of pink because there are some pops of pink in the hat that I'm wearing. And I'm also going to add this background paper by Heidi Swap's new collection um, storyline. I wanted to use that blue so badly, but it just, the f cut file got lost in translation. It just didn't work for me. So I decide to go with this, and I really do like it. It was a little bit wonky there, but I fixed it. And I did pop it up on double-sided tape. And since I switched the background paper, it really allowed me to use two photos and not just one, oddly enough. I thought with the other background paper, I was only going to get to pick one of these photos, but it worked out perfectly. And it was kind of hard to decide where to place the sun um, as far as this layout went, but I like the direction that the sun is. Um, I, I tried it with the sun up top and it just didn't work well for me. So I just kept moving it around until it was in the position which I felt comfortable with. And I really do love how this came out. So I grabbed some scraps, um, scraps that I had backed the cut file with, just a lot of pretty blues and yellows and greens. And I used a couple of like six by six papers that were in my stash. And so it's just a varied mix of the two. And I'm gonna back the photos with the same papers that I used for the backing the cut file. Oh, we had so much fun that day. We ended up, like usually in convention in Vegas, we go to two different hotels because he has to check into whatever hotel his company is providing. But then we go a few days before or a few days after so that I can be there with him and we get to visit my friends that live there and we get to hang out at new york new york because that's one place that we really enjoy it's just kind of has everything we need and everything's within walking distance and we've gotten very accustomed to that hotel so i end up making another layout that has pictures from that same stay and i used some of the here plus their collection and it had that's, that's this collection I'm pulling here. So it has that little clock tower like London. And it, I just passed right past this picture of um, this ephemera piece of the Statue of Liberty, which I thought of later and said, oh my gosh, yeah, we were at New York, New York. Of course I need to use that. So I end up using that on another layout. And I did those tickets that you see there to the left of the photo are from um, Maggie Helms carousel collection. She, that was her specialty paper. And so 
What, where did I get the light? The, so the fun for everyone label was cut out from that label sheet from Paige Evans Bloom. So, oh, sorry, I was interrupted <laughs> by my pseudo son-in-law. Um, but that was cut apart from Paige Evans Bloom Street number 13 paper and then I reach in for some of this ephemera that is from Paige Evans as well. It is from the Turn the Page ephemera. And I just fussy cut out that word bubble that says smile from a paper stack that I've had in my stash forever. I can't even remember the name of it. It's I'm sure it's a die cuts with a view paper stack of some kind. So I figured out placement of where I wanted things to go and I'm going to start attaching those. And of course I put twine with my little tiny attacher in my tags because I'm back on that kick. <laughs> oh, and I found this flare and it's got a camera on it and it is from... Um, it's from, I think it's from here plus there, from Crate Paper, also the travel collection. And then this little tag up at the top says, take me somewhere, anywhere, and it's got the little bird from Paige Evans, turn the page, and I bring back this clock tower and this label that I'm going to secure and make a little cluster there, and I'm going to tuck in this little backpack that has the perfect shade of blue. And that is from Paige Evans Puffy Stickers. And that collection was um, Pick Me Up. And I managed to use a couple of those paper airplanes. I had mentioned in a previous video that I need to do something with paper airplanes. And I managed to use them on this page. So I was excited to get to use them. And I'm just going to grab some Maggie Holmes Flourish labels and they say things like happy memories together and love you. And at first I did not put a title on this and I just felt after it had sat for a little while, I just felt like it was missing something. And you're going to see me after you think I'm done, I'm going to come back and I'm going to add a title. But right now I'm adding some enamel dots that were on my desk just in my scrap bowl. I don't even know where they're from. But I had to glue them down because they were not sticky. I guess they just don't put a lot of adhesive on scrapbook supplies anymore. It seems like you have to glue down everything. But I do like the color, this little coral bright color on these enamel dots worked really well on this page. Oh yeah, I do end up using a little bit of Heidi Swap Color Shine in gold. Why she ever quit making that, I'll never know because everybody loves it so much. But I heard there was somebody else that made one that was very similar. And I'm trying to remember who it was. Hmm, uh, here we go. So. This is where I went ahead. I dug into my stash of alphas and I found these pink paisley color wash chipboard alphas and I'm going to glue them down and make them a little bit fun and wonky. And this is real time guys. This is how slow I move. <laughs> it's interesting when you watch yourself in real time. It's almost like, because you're used to narrating at a faster speed, so when you go this slow, it, it's almost ridiculous how slow you actually move in real life. But of course, like I always say, you got to glue everything down, because if it drops to the bottom of my page protector or I find it on the floor, I'm going to be, that's going to drive me nuts. I'm not going to be able to handle that, so... I think that wraps it up for me. Of course, I'm going to have still pictures and close-ups, but isn't this just the most adorable layout? I just, I mean, not to boast or anything, just to share my excitement with you. I think it turned out so fun, and um, 
yeah, it just, it worked perfectly with these photos and I love it. I love it. If you haven't checked out Confessions of a Paper Addict's Cut Files or Cut to You um, or Paige Evans' Cut Files, they're just, they're so much fun. I really enjoy them, especially Confessions of a Paper Addict and Cut to You. So that's it. That is the layout. I will have another video for you in two days. And I appreciate all of you and hope you're all safe and healthy and loving life. And I will talk to you later. Ta-ta for now. Bye.